Welcome to the weather forecast for the two weeks beginning Thursday, October 17th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth for Longmont Public Media. Yep, taking fall break, so I'm gonna just sit back and relax. Uh, Thursday, October 31st, Halloween night, uh, will be a new moon. When we started uh, these videos years ago, it was a full moon, so it's progressed all the way halfway around the um, sequence there. Sun is quiet on this part except right here. We've got an X-class flare that came out of this batch that's starting to rotate towards us. So we've gone aurora free for a little while, but uh, could be back. It's beautiful stuff out there. Sunrise in Saturday, it drifts all the way to 723 and sunset back to 655. So it's nights are getting longer. We can't drought from a week ago to present, we did get a lot of precipitation over here, so that gave relief. Nothing really significant happened in northern Colorado, so we're dry. And much of the nation, western two-thirds, has been baking, and uh, so it's dry. Okay, it's smoke. We do have some fires in the west. Uh, cold front coming through has cleaned that out, and smoke is kind of isolated. The old smoke is drifting around in the east. So there's the precipitation that we did have. Fort Collins down to Denver, pretty sad, uh, but some rainfall down here, but the western slopes got two to three inches in spots. So that was nice. And also down here, I don't know why that turned red, um, it had some pretty heavy rain. And I think even I, I'm northern New Mexico got four, five, six inches of rain in a few small spots. So. Yes, storms can produce rain. We just don't have proof of that around Longmont. So Thursday, some severe weather possible way out east. Uh, drifts to just normal thunderstorms on Friday. And nothing, no thunderstorms nationwide for Saturday. So there's a cold front coming through. Have a high fire danger on Thursday with the wind and the front and some virga that went by rain that evaporates on the way down to the ground. That front makes it down into Texas for Friday. And Saturday we're just still high and dry. So our normal high temperatures are dropping from 62 to 58, low from 34 to 29. So now we are expecting below freezing temperatures at night. So it's probably a good time to get those sprinklers taken care of, um, even if we don't get a lot of rain. Here is our next precipitation area. This is Tuesday, Wednesday, so a day before Halloween. Halloween is looking pretty dry. Atmosphere is also very dry in the water vapor satellite loop. We've got some moisture way out here, but right now, nothing. So we're gonna do 17 day loop here. You can see the ridge in the west. That's been keeping us so abnormally warm. And finally, the trough comes in Monday into Tuesday. It digs in, passes over the state, so we have some lift right there. And then it just kind of fills in, pulls away, and the ridge replaces it very quickly. Do you have this little cutoff thing? No, now it's a trough kind of extending down for Saturday, November 3rd. There's into Sunday, the 3rd, 4th. And look down here, we have a tropical system brewing as we have a big trough on November 5th. And that comes up over Florida and then right up the East Coast. The previous run was even a bigger hurricane and just hit all the cities up to New York. So it's there's a lot of uncertainty that far out. Um, Ridge coming back at the end of the two-week-plus forecast period. So temperatures, really warm, but here comes the... Uh, cool air for the end of the week and the cool air kind of stays out east we warm up to above normal thankfully normal is dropping so just being 12 degrees above normal is still kind of cool and then the big cold front comes in for tuesday wednesday that's quite a sharp line right there pushing down into texas oklahoma and then it kind of loses its push and we sit right on the boundary between warm air in the plains and cool air out west. And it just kind of pushes back and forth. Yep, yep. Until you get 
near the end, there's another push of cold air coming over the state by the election day. All right, just going to follow this through the Tuesday, Wednesday storm because beyond that, you know, it doesn't matter that much. Uh, but very dry here at the beginning. There is moisture to our south, moisture coming in from the southwest by Monday. Whoops. Let's hope that picks up. Yeah, Monday and then into Tuesday. The low pulls moisture in real briefly, and then the dry air pushes in behind that. Same thing with the dew points. We are pretty dry with this cold front on Thursday. Dew points are kind of good to the east and southeast of us. <coughs> but it's dry through the weekend. Tries to make a return. And then by Tuesday, it gets pulled in briefly. And then dry air pushes in behind the front. So let's take a look at these systems. That little sprinkly stuff there on Thursday the beginning and then we're just dry through the weekend and still dry and then here comes Monday into Tuesday the low forms you start to see precipitation snow in the mountains it really kind of scoops in in a way there's that little bit of snow that might hit the northeast and the I-25 corridor forks on Wednesday morning Taking a look down here in the tropics, you can see this system moving over Cuba. It looks like a very strong storm. It has been in different model runs all over the southeast, different days like that. So, but there's another major storm hitting just about between the two previous hurricanes. So, not good news. A little bit of snow at that time up here. So, for the next five days, Stuff to the southwest, mountain snow, especially to the southwest. Ski resorts down here are very happy. Ones up north are trying to make snow. Next 10 days, it's out here on the east, a little bit along I-25, and maybe a little bit of snow. Remember, snow gets fluffy, so you can have some depth with very little moisture. So we'll see if we get some snow um, Wednesday morning. It'd be nice. So for the first week out, we're still in the 70s. We cool into the uh, 60s for the last two days of the week. Then the weekend warms up. Then the cold front comes in. Another reinforcing shot with our 50-50 chance of showers. Too much, too fast. Uh, for t um, October 30th, Wednesday, a little lingering showers, maybe some snow in the morning. Halloween, I'll have a trick-or-treat forecast in just a moment with a high 57, low of 27, dry. And then we have 50s stretching off into the next week. So the second week forecast from the um, Weather Service has us a little above normal for the month of November. They have us above normal for temperatures. For the second week out, we have at least a little moisture, maybe I'd be above normal down here with the hurricane and then for the November outlook, dry. So, yep, warm and dry. That seems to be what we keep returning to. So, that's it. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Have Hopefully you get a good fall break, too. I don't know how many schools do, but um, this is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.